Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leap Classes. I am Anjali. Children, I know your exams are going on very well and your next exam is of computer application subject and that is why you are here today, right? So today I am here to share few points with you, what you should remember during the examination time, what you should do, what you should not do, right? So we start with the computer applications and you know this is the only subject in ICSC exam which is of 100 marks external. Rest all the subjects are of 80 marks and this is the only paper which is of 100 marks. Now computer application subject it is divided into two sections section A and section B. We start with section A which is of 40 marks and this time you have two questions in section A. Question 1 that will have 20 MCQs right one mark each so that makes it 20 marks and question number 2 10 questions two marks each again of 20 marks right so two questions 20 marks each now children before we start with anything i just wanted to tell you please don't copy any question from the question paper in your answer sheet but put the correct question number and the part number Suppose it is question number 1, A part, B part, C part like that. Don't copy the question. Again, I am reminding you because that time you can utilize in writing, in presenting your work nicely, right? You will get some extra time for revision also if you will not copy the questions. And copying of the questions from the question paper, I will not recommend that, right? Now question number 1. How you will do? Question number one, put the correct option number and the correct answer, right? Option along with the option number, correct one. Children, for section A questions, whether it is MCQ or it is question number two, where short question answers are there, output based questions are there, few definitions are there. For all that, the important topics which you have to prepare are Start from the object-oriented programming concepts, all the definitions, all the principles. Then you come to tokens, operators, in operators also increment, decrement operators. Please prepare that. Most of the time, at least one question is there from that topic, right? Then you have to prepare output-based questions where print and print ln, these two statements, how the output will be generated using these two statements, right? Then all the functions, character functions, mathematical functions, string functions, the return type and what is the purpose, right? How that function is applied and what will be the output of that. Children, here I would like to suggest you that please attempt the quizzes. Almost for all the topics, the playlist is there. Children, for today, you please prepare at least 60% of your syllabus. Watch the videos at 1.5 or 2x speed and after watching all the videos of one particular topic, attempt the quiz. I'll put the link in the description box, right? And I hope this will help you a lot in doing section A. For section A, the definitions also definitely you have to prepare. The list of the definitions which you have to prepare, I'll send that in the Telegram channel. Please check that. And in case you have any problem related to any definition, please do comment in the comment section. I'll provide the definition of that, right? But all the definitions, the list that I will provide, please prepare those, right? Then conversion, implicit, explicit conversion, then you have to do looping conversion from for to while, do while, from do while to for or if to ternary, ternary to if. Children, please prepare this. It is my request to all of you, right? Because section A is very scoring and very less time taking. Now, when we talk about section A, I want all of you to complete all the questions of section A within half an hour should not exceed more than half an hour. Suppose you have any doubt in any of the question and that question is taking too long for solving and still you want to give some extra time for that. So what you do, please leave it there. So I will advise you to leave the space according to the question and attempt remaining questions and after completion of the entire paper, you come back there, right? Don't give much time to only one question don't give 10 minutes 15 minutes in section a to only one question right now you come to section b section b children you have to attempt four questions out of six questions 
I would advise you to complete each question of section B within 15 minutes, right? So 15 into 4 is 60. 60 minutes, that means 1 hour and 30 minutes for section A. So more or less, you should be able to complete your question paper in one and a half hours. After that, whatever is left, you come back there, revise it and if in case any mistake is there, correct that. Now children in section B also, one common mistake is that when you start, you put the heading section B and you start giving the question numbers as question number 1, 2, 3, 4. No, you have to put the question number as per the question paper. Suppose in question 7, you are attempting in section B first, put question number 7, then question number 5, question number 6, question number 4. You may attempt the questions in any order in section B but for section A please don't change the order. Start from the beginning till end of all the questions in the same serial order in section A. Section B, the questions which you know the best. Humko 7th wala sabse achha aata hai. So first I will advise you to do question number 7. Then iske baad humko aata hai question number 4. Do question number 4. Question number 6. Do question number 6. But put the correct question number, right? So these are the small things which you have to keep in mind. The another thing that Java is case sensitive language. Java case sensitive. Uppercase and lowercase characters are distinguished here. They are not same. So they are different, right? So please take care of these letters where you have to write main. Many children, they write main, M capital, class C capital. Please avoid that. In all the functions, string functions, mathematical functions, functions mein dekho kaun sa character capital mein, kaun sa small mein. Please do remember that. And then when you are doing the programs, along with each program, please give the variable description table. It is must that either you give comment entries or the variable description table. Children, I want all of you to start your program with the comment entry. Suppose question number 7 you are attempting first. So put question number 7 and put a double slash mark that all of you know that it is single line comment entry. So write program to check whether the entered string is palindrome or not. Suppose this is the question. And then you continue your program. So by seeing the first entry as the comment entry, it will be clear to the examiner that this particular program is related to which question. It will be easy for you also during the revision time. Just by seeing that you can revise it that the objective is this and whether you have written all the statements correctly or not. Right? Children, one program is of class program either with constructor or without constructor. So prepare it well. In this, the giving variable description table is very easy because data members, the variable names are already given, the type is already given, the purpose is already given, right? Then prepare in arrays, sorting, searching. Searching both the techniques, linear search, binary search is there. Then in sorting, you have only bubble sort technique, right? So prepare for numeric values also as well as for string arrays also, right? You have string arrays also in your slippers. For string, you have character extraction based problems, right? Word extraction from the string is not there in this session. That is not there in your syllabus. So prepare the programs. You should understand the logic. Always after writing the complete program, please dry run that. Dry run ka kya matlab hota hai? You give the input, you assume that if this is the input, how that program will work and what output it will generate. If your output is according to the sample input which is given in the question, then definitely your program is also correct, right? Children, please go to the examination hall with the mindset that you are going to attempt all the questions of 100 marks, right? Ek bhi number ka chhodkar nahi aana hai. Suppose in programs, right, I am talking about programs. The programs work on the principle of input, process and output. Input har question mein dena hoga. It can be input using scanner class or the values are already given in the question, then input using assignment, right? So input part is the easiest part that all of you can do. Input karo and suppose in manipulation, in calculation, you have some doubt. Leave that space. After that, you come to printing. 
प्रिंटिंग में सबको पता है कि हमको क्या प्रिंट करना है अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन यू नो व्हाट शुड बी द आउटपुट सो राइट दैट प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट इनपुट पार्ट लिख दिया कैलकुलेशन के लिए स्पेस छोड़ा एंड देन यू राइट द प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट आफ्टर डूइंग ऑल प्रोग्राम्स यू कम बैक हियर अगेन एंड व्हाट यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट कैलकुलेशन यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट स्ट्रिंग मैनिपुलेशन यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग प्लीज राइट दैट डोंट लीव एनी क्वेश्चन अन अटेम्प्टेड एंड रिविजन टाइम इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिविजन टाइम वॉट यू विल डू यू विल चेक ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन वेदर यू हैव अटेम्प्टेड और नॉट sometimes you assume that i have already done everything but after coming out of the examination hall you realize that you missed two questions you have not written the answers of two questions which you thought that you will be doing afterwards right so avoid that and in the beginning when you get the reading time please decide the programs which you have to attempt read the questions reread the questions that 15 minutes reading time you must utilize प्रॉपरली रीडिंग टाइम का यूटिलाइजेशन जितना अच्छा होगा एग्जाम में उतना अच्छा लिख पाओगे बिकॉज ऑलरेडी यू हैव चेंज योर माइंड यू हैव ब्रॉट एवरी थिंग योर कंसेंट्रेशन इज इन टू दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन पेपर ओनली सो इंस्टेड ऑफ लुकिंग हेयर एंड दे आर जस्ट चेकिंग द फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ अदर प्लीज read your question paper trust yourself instead of trusting your neighbor who is sitting next to you please trust yourself still time is there revise re revise and prepare the subject properly that is all what i want to say so today you please go through the videos ask your doubts in the comment section i'll try to make a video related to your doubts some more tips if i feel like depending upon your questions i'll definitely make another video so my best wishes to each one of you for the preparation first and definitely after that for writing the exam come with flying colors and do comment in the comment section after writing your exam when you reach home please let me know how you have done your exam and all the best right children so my best wishes my blessings blessings of leaf classes blessings of god are with you do well and those who are new today if you haven't subscribed the channel till now please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you you may join us on our telegram channel also the link is there in the description box god bless you children happy learning and best wishes